do the video and try to figure out that soundboard. Then you got to push record on the on the phone. You got to make sure the phone don't fall over. And you got to run up here so you can grab the mic. You forgot to take it back there with you. The Lord is good, amen. Listen, man. So first off, I want you guys to know um, we are we are recording this. Um, uh, you know, back in the days when Moses first um, was around for the first four years, we used to do this thing called the Wow Moment. And it was called Words of Wisdom. And basically what it was, was we had somebody come up and, and give a testimony, amen? Because we think that's very vitally important. So I kind of wanted to, I don't really know if I'm going to call them the wow moments anymore. Matter of fact, back then, I used to want to call them the mom moments. The mom moments. You know, mom, we're talking about moments of miracles, amen? <laughs> because really, as I was listening to all of them, we used to upload those to our YouTube channel and stuff. And so that way, whoever it was that gave a testimony could have that forever to share with whoever they want to share it with. Yeah. Plus, because you might hear something tonight, and you might have a loved one somewhere that you're like, oh my God, I wish they was here to yeah. hear this. Amen? And then by having it up there, you can go say, and you can send them the link. Amen? So not only is this going to be, I don't know, your first time maybe giving your testimony in front of people, right? But it's being recorded. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. But you know what's great about this is what a, what a blessed platform to be able to do this in. And, uh, you know, as I was standing back there and I was looking, I'm going to be 100% honest. I, I was just picturing the people that are here and, 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 and the future of this thing. I mean, I can't wait for you to get up here and give your testimony since the last time. And Moses say, man, Maddie, I can't wait for you to stand up here and give a testimony. Yeah. Exactly, right? You're like, excuse me? <laughs> You're right? But this <laughs> Amen. But you know how powerful it is when somebody can get up here, first off, hear from somebody, but to say, man, you know, because your life was meant to change somebody's life. So you don't know that yet. You think everything you've been through was because you made some bad decisions or whatever. Well, yeah, kind of. But guess what? The Lord pulled you through it so he could pull somebody to it. You understand that? If you're sitting here and you're in the house of God, I say this at present all the time, and you were able to wake up this morning, and the way I'm looking, it looks like everybody here is awake, so that means you're alive, right? You're breathing, so that means you're not dead, amen? But what that means is, guess what? He ain't done with you yet. Amen. Meaning everything that you've done up to this point, is, and he's going to use for his good. So he pulled you through it so he could bring somebody to it, amen? And with that, with, with that is my segue lead into introducing, you know, have you ever had one of those people in your life? <laughs> Where truthfully, it, 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 <laughs> well, let me before I get there. If anyone hears a word tonight that they want to say, I want to sow into that, or if you want to tithe, uh, you, you haven't brought a tithe, but if you hear something that you want to sow into, and you, you know, sometimes I'm a firm believer. When I hear something, I mean, this is just the way I was. I, I mean, when I started, God started showing me things. He taught me, man. When you hear something and you want to stand on it. Sow into it. What better way to sow into it but with your finances? Because with you, when you're giving up that cash money, there's something about letting go of some cash. Amen. Uh, especially when it's legitimately cash. I mean, there's something about. So if you hear something tonight, you want to stand on. Please feel free to, to sow into it. It goes into good ground. Amen. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had one of those people in your life where, if it was legal for you to carry a gun, which I think it isn't for me now. It's been ten years, so I didn't have a violent crime. So I probably could go and. And, and get it done now. Thank the Lord I never have. Because <laughs> I would have either shot this girl or shot myself. Uh -oh. I say all that to say that, that you know, when you have a person in your life when, when you know that that person is real. Because a person will question things will follow things, uh, follow advice, um, will just be a real person. And I, I guess if everything when you're mentoring or when you're a friend with someone, I guess if everything was hunky-dory, then I guess maybe it's not real. Amen? Because everything, marriage, friendship, whatever, has some issues that come with it. And it's the issues working past, come agreeing to disagree, in there quite a bit, amen. Uh, uh, but but that makes you stronger. Is that is that a true statement? I mean, I know the the issues with Dom and I have sometimes. It's after we get past those issues that we can look at our marriage and say, "Wow, our marriage is stronger because of that issue." And I I think that about our friendship. I just, I know where it first began, just being the uh, minister to you in prison, to you know watching you come out to. 
take, bringing you into the house of Deborah to, to not only be a, a, a resident, but to be a monitor, a leader, to, to watching you grow in your marriage, and, and now for the first time in front of a crowd to give in your testimony. So without further ado, everybody stand up and let's walk a road. Amen. <laughs>
But I did for the, the devil, I allowed God to work through me and so much more because I am bought and paid for by the blood of Jesus. I am forgiven and I'm ready to fight. As Isaiah said, here I am, Lord, send me. And this, this part of my testimony, I really didn't want to share, but God let me dig a little deeper with my feelings and my Go ahead and put those pictures up there. You see, I know what it is to be separated from God. I know what it is to feel like you want to die. You're full of hate, shame, guilt, confusion, feel less than, unworthy, not good enough. So now you know who you are. But today I know who I am, without a doubt. I know those feelings and, and those thoughts are not from God, but a lie. The devil comes in and he uses our weaknesses, our comfort zones, to his advantage. But Jesus also said he won't allow us to be tempted without a way out. So I urge everybody, please get into your word, stay in your word, and begin applying it to your life. Thank you.